Hello, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be learning about the revolve chord feature by designing this part. So let's start a new part file. The unit is inch. So we know we can extrude these two circles just to get this feature. But to follow up on the last lecture, let's create the first feature using the revolve method. So we can select sketch. We have all of our sketch and we can start a sketch on our front on the front plane. So this is the same example as the last lecture. So again, draw our axis. Then we we'll draw our profile. Then we add our dimension. This diameter is 10. And the distance of this line is 3. And from the bottom up is 8. And the diameter on the top is 6. And we, will, we are going to close our profile. Come to feature, revolve, and 360 degrees and click OK. So now we have this feature. Next, we are trying to revolve cut the hole in it. So to do that, you can find any plane that is in the middle of this feature. So right now, and my part is bigger than my plane. So what you can do sometimes is you can right click on the plane. And if you click auto resize, and if I select that again, it has make my plane the same size. So right now I can do that for the front plane to auto resize. So now, you can see that my right plane is going through through the middle of that part. So if I move it so you can see or my front plane. So anyone will work. Since we already have our sketch on the front plane, let's use that plane. And click sketch, number two. So now we are in the middle of that part. So let's draw the profile. So again, we can just draw our profile in the middle. So it's a line going up, touching that edge, coming down. Something like that. We can make this a construction line. Then we can add the diameter, which is 3.5. Then we can close our profile. Again, if we section it, so you can see the sketch we drew is in the middle because that's where we are trying to cut the hole. So next, all we need to do is come to our feature tab. So to section it, to unsection it, all you have to do is click that section again. To section it, you click it and you can select the different section. So Next, all I'll do is come to Feature, Revolve Cut, and it is going to automatically select my profile and my axis. We want to cut it 360 degrees. It's the same options as the Revolve, and click OK. And we have cut that hole in our part. That is how the Revolve Cut works, and I'm going to unsection it. Thank you, and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.